Yes, good morning and welcome back to another vlog here on the channel. Today we are doing something very special, something I've wanted to do for many, many years, and that is fly on the only, the world's only commercial passenger hovercraft from South Sea to ride at the Isle of Wight. It's something very, very, very unique. It's the only one in the world now, so we've got to get on it while it still exists, basically, yeah. Looks so much fun. I've always been a huge admirer of it. I've watched it come in and go. Every time we come to South Sea, I'm geeking out over this thing. And I thought today, it's a nice day. Um, I've never been to ride. I've been to the Isle of Wight once. I've got the uh, car ferry over. That takes about an hour. Then we drove to Black Gang Chine. This one is literally 10 minutes, so it's super, super quick. Uh, but it is pricey. I'll let you know the cost of it shortly. Sam booked it online. I think it is cheaper online, so I'll let you know the price of it. Um, it's not cheap. It literally gets to the Isle of Wight in 10 minutes, so it's super quick. been a huge admirer of it I just wanted to get on it it's, it's so cool the way it just glides across the water it's just the world's only one it's the world's only remaining commercial hovercraft passenger commercial hovercraft look how crystal clear that water is it's absolutely beautiful yeah this is a beautiful part of the world this yeah I'm going into it completely blind I have no idea what zip ride never been Hopefully there's enough to do. We've got to return. We've got about four or five hours in ride to basically look around, see all the local attractions, and then come back. I'm just going to get the price for you now. Sam, how much did we pay for this? Right, so we paid £78 for two adults and up to three children. It's not too bad. Like The car ferry is a lot cheaper. It just takes a lot longer. So this is definitely the fastest way to get to the Isle of Wight at a premium. Yeah, you have to be at the hoverport uh, 10 minutes before your departure, so we're just killing a little bit of time in the arcades. Wasting money, trying to win impossible teddy bears that we don't need. Fly across the Solent in 10 minutes, there we go. It's definitely the best way to travel, but definitely the most expensive way to travel also. They've got this perspex here, but you can't see through it. It's all really frosted. It's a shame really, but you can get a really good view from the beach down there. You find yourself, a lot of people are always stood here waiting for it to come in. But standing right there, you get absolutely soaked. Trust me, I've been there, I've done that. It's uh, it's not pleasant. Yeah, the only problem with Portsmouth is the stony beach. But you do get absolutely stunning views to the Isle of Wight on a nice clear day. Always boats and ferries. It's a beautiful part of the world, South Sea, and I feel quite privileged to live close by. You just see how crystal clear the water is here as well. Beautiful. How excited are you to get on the uh, the world's only commercial passenger hovercraft? So you don't understand it. I don't. I think it's a man thing. It's a geek thing. All the men will appreciate it. But Libby, Libby doesn't appreciate it. So yeah, we are going to go into the hoverport now. We are a little bit early, but you can get a Costa Express in there. If you have pre-booked tickets, you just go to the boarding gate, which is this way. Thank you. Very, very simple. You just scan your boarding pass, then you're into the lobby. It does seem like a bit of an airport, doesn't it? We are technically flying. We're not. on a hovercraft. We're, we're gliding across the waves. <laughs> Can we get a window seat? I want a window seat, I'm not going to get one. The mad rush, Libby, look at that. Woo! Look at that, that's so cool, isn't it? How cool is that? I'm proper geeking out now. Yeah, these things inflate, if you didn't know. You probably did.
this one where the steps come out Another Union Jack as well on the front really very patriotic first ever time look at this here we go I've got a window seat baby right at the front as well I'm so excited <laughs> Keep all your luggage and buggies right at the front here. Plenty of seating in there. It's bigger than I thought actually inside. <coughs> and here we go. Yes, it's where you're going guys. There's one at the front here. Whoa, look at that. We're inflated. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Bobby Travel. Yeah, we're just going through these safety instructions. Oh, feel that, we're going up. So, so weird. Oh, here we go. We're moving. And we're away. Wow, there we go. Really pleasant ride. Yeah, 10 minutes to ride. to the, uh, the Isle of Wight completely blind. I have no idea what's over there. Like I said, we've got about four or five hours over there, so there better be something to do. That's the only advantage of the uh, car ferry is you've got your car so you can drive to places. With this, we're pretty much limited to the area or public transport. just approaching ride now that took exactly 10 minutes left at 11 here by 10 past 11 
just like that we're here in ride there's the other one there look ready to go look at that pulling the steps out Thank you. Oh. You can just see this one loading up now as well. That was our one. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Really, really unique experience. Like I said, this is the only uh, commercial hovercraft operating in the world. So it's definitely, definitely worth doing for the experience alone even if it is a little bit pricey. Just like that, we are in Rye. Ride, Rye, Ride. Spurt Ride. So yeah, never been here before. We'll have a quick look around the area. They do have a, a pier just saw up there. So we'll go and check that out and look around the local area. Look like a typical seaside town at the moment though. We've got about four hours to kill. So let's go and find something to do. Yeah, so we're on Ride Pier now. I don't think there's anything at the pier. I don't think it's a pleasure pier. It's just a pier. We'll go for a little walk. I do like walking up piers. We did do the, the South End Pier. World's largest pleasure pier. That's like two miles, is it, up? I think you're all safe. I don't think there's any crazy golfing ride. You've actually got cars driving up and down the pier as well. I don't know what's at the end. There must be something. Hopefully there's somewhere we can get a drink or something. Get a coffee. No Certainly no, uh, no south end, is it? Pier. They've got a pier train as well here. To spot the track there. So they've got a pier train as well. Libby's like, can we get that back? It's not even a long walk. It's not a big pier at all. It's weird seeing the Spinnaker Tower in South Sea over there. We spend so much time there looking this way. It's weird being here looking that way. Yeah, we're going to grab a quick Costa coffee. There's not a lot here really. Only like parking and the train service lives. We get a drink. 
You get some nice postcards there. Nice station though. Libby, that was a pointless walk, wasn't it? Yeah. Exercise though, mate. Yeah, we're just exploring today. Chocolate fudge brownie frappe. Cheers. You said that, you know, alright. Walking back now. This this way going to land is absolutely stunning. Some stunning views to be had here in Bride. It's actually really nice. And you have the land train as well. Look at that, the two hovercrafts there gonna cross each other's paths. Plus the train, this is the geekiest of geek shots. They have like all the scooters over there, like mod weekend, mods and rockers, uh, lambrettas. I'm not really into me scooters. I know someone who is, I'm not. But it's all really nice there, all with the, uh, the plant in there. Need to find a bin for this. But yeah, it's lovely. Reminds me of Weymouth in a weird way. The old rye sweet shop. Love that, look at the, uh, the dog water. Made out of an old keg. This is the high street, it's on the biggest hill ever. This is gonna be a workout. Wow, it's all uphill. <laughs> all uphill. Yeah, we'll go and find some lunch, probably have some fish and chips. They got the cake kitchen there, Sam. I'm just following Sam. She's got a better sense of direction than me. They've got a subway. They even have subway abroad. Well, we really have, no, I mean, abroad. <laughs> We're across the water. Yeah, what a view that is. Also, look at that. An old school Subaru in Pretzer. And Colin McRae used to drive one of them. Absolute classic. But that is a, uh, a view and a half. I love the high street. It's all independent shops rather than big chains. Look at the scooters. Brilliant. I love how like hilly it is, loads of hills, but coming back down, the views are absolutely stunning. Um, Libby's complained walking up the hill, but coming down, it's beautiful. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but that view there across to uh, Southampton, is it, or Portsmouth, it's really, really nice. I definitely, I definitely get like a, a Cornwall Devon vibe to this place. Probably not as nice, but. Lovely around here. We are just trying to we're trying to find a little beach to sit down on. We are down on the front now of the island. Here, yeah, this is Ride Harbour. Look at boats and stuff. If that's what you're into, it's lovely though. The weather makes it. It's gorgeous down here by the sea and the harbour. It's really busy though. Got a beautiful restaurant and bar here. Grab yourself a nice beverage. Get a pint. What well up for that, mate? And they've got a fun fair and amusements. I think they've used the term fun fair quite loosely here. I'm not sure if there is actual fun fair here, but we're going to have a look in a minute. But bloody hell, it's rammed around here. Absolutely rammed. Yeah, the sand here is not, not the best, is it? A lot of stones in it. Not like Weymouth sand. Weymouth sand is uh, amazing. <laughs> Ow! I walk out to the low tide, but I've got to take my trainers off and my socks. Ow! Ow! These bloody kill these stones on your feet. 
Yeah, I've rolled my jeans up. Oh my God, that is so cold. It's quite refreshing though. I think it's the first time I've been in the sea all summer. Got our shoes in a, in a Sainsbury's bag. It's the right once you're in. <laughs> How very English. It's the right once you're in. <laughs> Nice look how crystal clear the water is. Do you want to hold him and put him in there? I've got sand, there's food in this bag. Yep. I've, had, I've had all my. We've reached the end. Libby said, can we not just walk back to the, uh, to the car? Don't think so. You can always try if you want lips. Yeah. It feels quite weird being this far out, look. I feel like it's the last day of summer today. It's the last bank holiday of the year. It's the last time I'm going to get off work. Therefore, it's the last day of summer. It's quite depressing when you think about it, isn't it? I love days like this. We just haven't had enough this year. Just have not had enough. Are we not, are we not going further? Yeah, go swimming. Yeah. <laughs> I might as well. Oh, are we not going further? <laughs> Definitely the wrong weather for a hoodie. I just never know what to wear anymore. The weather's so inconsistent, I thought I'd go safe and go over a hoodie without a t-shirt underneath. Big mistake. Big mistake. Yeah, that was really fun there. Eh? Dipping our toes, we are going to go look at the crazy golf and the little amusements over here. I'll get you a little bit of footage there. It won't be a full-on uh, funfair vlog or golf vlog. I'll just basically show it off and show you what's there. The crazy golf actually looks really well themed. Love the art style on this bouncy castle or slide. It's amazing. Let's go head down and do the mini golf. The mini golf. The mini golf. Yeah, the mini golf looks awesome. Plus, they have this small little amusement park here. Got a couple of bouncy castles. You've got a lovely classic uh, mini golden carousel there and a slip. Really cool. Yeah, but that is the Captain Hooks Adventure Golf. How much? 450 for the crazy golf. Cheap here and ride. Yeah, look at these, these are absolutely stunning. A little mini galloper set. You're never ever far from Funfair rides, are you? I think Sam thought this was an escaping day coming to ride. Nope. Got these water orb things and of course the Helter Skelter just there. How cool is that, Livs? Now we're going to go in the amusement arcade, waste some money on some grabbers. Any luck? No, I'm not quite over there. I'll have a go. Oh, Louie! Ah. I don't condone gambling, but these are really addictive and fun. I won't tell how much I've wasted trying to win a Sonic Teddy. I won't tell Sam. Oh, David. But it is, uh, it's quite a lot. Right, we're going to do the, uh, the adventure golf. I'll only show you a few little bits. I won't show you the whole thing. If you do want to see more Crazy Golf, check out the Crazy Golf playlist where we go full into depth covering courses. But yeah, with this one I'll just show you a few brief highlights. Very, very cheap. It's a bit random though, it's 10 holes. Arr, good old pirate themed golf course. Really nice though. The trees there. And the water feature. I love a good water feature that with the skulls as well yeah this is really nice reminds me a lot of the south sea one the clarence pier one really nice right here we go first one never played this course before so that's my excuse in already what it jumped what what's going on it jumped the brickwork 
Yeah, four pound fifty for ten holes. It's probably the cheapest, uh, cheapest one I've played, and it's really nice. Love that. And we've got some uh, some live music down there as well. Yeah, really impressed. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off now and just concentrate on whipping their asses. Ding dong, did it in three. Libby's winning. Yeah, I didn't film Sam's hole in one. Must have missed that bit. Here comes Libby. Yeah, at the moment I am dead last. I'm having a bit of a stinker. Oh, it's up there though. It's back down though. Get another little water feature there. Got the Jolly Roger flying. Yeah, really impressed. Probably worthy of a separate video to be fair, but uh, as we are just having a, a day and ride, I thought we'll uh, include it in the uh, vlog. But yeah, I'm losing the creepy, creepy skulls in the cave. Bullet down go That is awesome. Dreadful. Hang on, I'm just gonna bounce back. Nah. No! <laughs> I, I caught my thing on the thing. Two. Yeah, we're not going to mention the golf. Not going to mention it. Yeah, we're just having a quick drink while we wait for our hovercraft to return back to Portsmouth. Got to love a bit of madri on tap. My absolute favourite. Look at that for a view, though. Had a great day here, really enjoyed it today. Hope you've enjoyed it, something completely different again. Hope you've enjoyed this little adventure today, something different, quite unique. I've really enjoyed it. I've always wanted to do the hovercraft and I'm glad we did. Like I said, it's pricey, but it's worth it, I think, for the experience. To go up over these steps. You get some cracking views though from up here. Whew. No public toilets, Sam. No. And just like that, our day is done. Fight for the window seats. Pretty amazing that it fits all these people in, isn't it? Doesn't look like it would. But it does. Chances of a window seat. Slim, very slim. Other Union Jack as well, look at that, so cool. I filmed it on the way here, now I'm filming it on the way back. Ah, oh, our seats are taken. We're in the middle of the seats now. Libs, what are you laughing at? What's she laughing at? Hang on. The crew will then provide further instructions. Should it be necessary to evacuate the hovercraft, you will be directed to an emergency exit and an unattended for life raft. You are advised to take warm clothing and any medication you may need, unusual bags and bulky items behind. Right, free for all libs. There we go. How was your day, Libby? Enjoy it? Yeah. It's nice when you're hit with this fresh air when you come off.
my home. Yeah, that was the, uh, the hovercraft. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Something different, but something very, very, very unique. Welcome to Portsmouth. There we go. Libby, you gotta give it, gotta give it a wave. Say bye. <laughs> We're waving to the hovercraft. All right, back to the car. Yeah, we'll wrap up the vlog now. Just trying to get through all these people. South Sea is busy as always. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Another random <laughs> vlog, random day out. Enjoyed it. Light ride, lovely place. And I'll see you in the next one. Could be crazy golf, could be a fun fair. You never know on this channel. Right, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye for now.